This is a Game Caviar production. Now, a couple months ago, PlayStation came out with that PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. I played it, and honestly, I didn't really get the hype out of it. And I wasn't really a God of War fan. I, I played God of War 3, but I didn't really appreciate that game as much as people who have played every God of War game. This, on the other hand, is something that I can definitely get into. This is God of War Ascension uh, uh, Beta, multiplayer beta. When I downloaded it, well, actually, I turned on my PS3 and it downloaded automatically. Uh, word to PS Plus. But anyway, I, I, when I started playing it, I didn't know what to expect. I knew what God of War was, and I know what multiplayer gaming is, but I didn't quite understand how they would go together so i didn't really have any expectations what this is is a uh, 2v2 multiplayer like a team deathmatch type situation but a lot of the things that are in uh, god of war that you're used to seeing are in this game the the brutal kills the hacking the slashing everything this guy knocked me off of, an, of a, a damn cliff and I died. I was really pissed off at that because I didn't understand it. But uh, you see that guy just picked up something blue. That replaces or replenishes your magic power. You have magic abilities. And the green, of course, uh, replenishes your health. You can get treasure chests. And I played this one and I played a free-for-all match where you're in an arena and you just hack and slash at each other. It was, it was similar to... Uh, PlayStation Battle Royale, but it was a lot better. I had much more fun playing just a God of War online than the uh, PS Battle Royale, whatever it's called. And I think part of the reason is because that uh, the, the Battle Royale was so hectic that it was hard to really get a handle of everything. And once I did get a handle of it, I noticed that certain characters were just so overpowered that it killed the vibe. This is, I don't, I'm not gonna say it's like the perfectly balanced game. Number one, it's a beta, so it's gonna have issues. Number two, they allow you to upgrade by, that was a stupid move. They allow you to upgrade by using armor and different abilities. This, these, uh, these, uh, these items that you unlock, the armor, the weapons and everything, Restore they, the uh, they the affect your, uh, your stats, so to speak. And w what happens is you have a character, everybody has a customized character that you can set up any way that you want. And you get, you take the good and the bad with whatever you use. That's fine and that's great. But I can still I can see how somebody would uh, use that or, or abuse it and be like overpowered. I don't know how they would, and it might not be a problem. I could be over exaggerating it, but I don't know how the the company would go about uh, fixing that. Or if they could, maybe the match, and maybe it's the match is set up to where they only put you to in matches with people that are close to your character skill, so that you're not just going in there and beating everybody's ass because you're so much uh, more powerful than they are. Uh, one thing that I do like is this right here, where you have the uh, the Olympic gods. They will they shoot down this spear. And the team that gets to it first, you'll see it at the end. Uh, um, I mean, you really need to watch this video at the end because what I saw from this game, I already liked the game, but what I saw at the end of this match really made me excited and looking forward to this game. Because like I said, I'm not really a God of War fan, uh, and I really just uh, lazily follow the game. I knew this game was coming out, and I was like, all right, whatever. I didn't really follow it at all. And then when I turned on the PS3 and I saw that I had it, I was like, why not? Why wouldn't I play this game? And after I saw what happened at the end of the match, I was absolutely amazed and I'm eager to actually play this game. Uh, not just the, the single, I guess this, this isn't just multiplayer only, right? This is single player and multiplayer. Uh, but I'm really eager to play it. I don't give a shit whether it's multiplayer only or not. This is fun as hell. And the, the um the graphics on this game are this is why i like ps3 so much 
before you get to the point to where you can play on an online match, you have to play a tutorial. What they do is they bring you to Olympus and you are surrounded by uh, some uh, Greek gods that you have to uh, pledge your allegiance to. Each god will give you a different set of skills that you can use and you get to pick. I think only in a beta you can pick two, between two, and I don't remember their name, so don't even fucking ask me. Uh, but you pick your your allegiance or who you want to be uh, aligned with, and you go from there. But right after that, you have to go through a tutorial. The graphics of just that part in Olympus were so good that it was, I mean, I was just stunned at how great this game looked in, in a beta stage of that. It's just one of those things that you see in uh, PlayStation exclusive games, whether it's Uncharted, whether it's Killzone, whether it's God of War, you see these games that are really uh, high in the graphical department. And they're great games. They're not just pretty games that suck. These games are amazing and infamous. I, I forgot to see infamous, but check this out right here. I'm not even gonna talk. I just want you to see this. I mean, that's like something that you would see in the movie 300. That's cinematic, uh, the most cinematic ending to a multiplayer match I've ever seen in any video game. Uh, check this game out if you can. I don't know whether it's just for PS Plus or whatever, but I'm definitely stoked for this game. Let me know what you think about this game. If you're going to get it, let me know, and then we'll discuss it. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.